Holy! What's good, everybody? It's your boy Roman Puss here with some more OVR. Now, we just got the Mr. 3. I pulled for him. Check out my poll video. I'll leave it in the description down below. But we got my boy. He's playable. And he's not bad. I know I, he's a step up. I want to frag him so bad and make him level 100, but I'm trying to hold back because step ups are not hard to max out. But I, I love him. I think he's good. He's playable. He's really fun to play. I just He's Mr. 3. He's Mr. 3. He's fine. He's playable. He's a god. But let's dive in. Let's look at him. Let's look at some traits. I'm going to explain him, and then we're going to go over some gameplay. Oh my god. Now, you guys know dang well I have been waiting years for this kid. So I have a pretty good setup. I'm going to run Defenders. I'm going to run Captain. I'm going to run Grand Line. I would love to run Zoan on this kid. And if you can run Zoan, if we get more green Zoans, we're going to be spicy and it's perfect. So what I've had the most success now, I get me. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So I run Defender support, right? Right now, I only have full defense. I have played games with him with HP. I have played games with him full defense. So far, at least while he's not level 100, the full defense has been the most successful. And I think why is because of his buffs. But oh, so far, like his HP, yes, your walls will last longer, but I do tend to be a little bit squishier. So running, I think full HP defense is going to be your best bet. You don't truly need the attack and you're just going to kind of bounce back. Your skill one actually does fat damage. So really, Overall, I think that's where it is. Once I get him level 100, I'll get some in-depth detail. I'm going to probably make a wall video to let you guys know what goes through walls, what doesn't go through walls, and kind of explain that feature as well. But let's look at his skills right here. We have skill 1, Wax Wax Arts. Basically, you shoot the big sword, it plumps down and does fat damage. 728 damage is actually huge for a defender. Normally, they're like around 500 to 600. Uh, this is actually really nice. It reduces their attack by 10%, therefore making you tankier increases your attack by 20% automatically. So you get a little bit of damage, works really well, and it also shields you as well. So if you stand right on top of it, basically you can be shielded from getting hit. So this will protect you. Like if they use skills, they will generally hit this and it's, it's actually so nice. And it will at the minimum block one hit from something. Like things cannot go through. Like Roger, if he comma surdies it, if it were to do more damage than 100% HP, it will not go through and hit you. It will at most just block it. So you at least get a free hit of blockage, which is really, really nice and shield effect lasts up for a while and the cooldown is really not that long so it's actually spicy 35 seconds is not too bad but not the greatest but you have back cooldowns uh your wall shield does not do damage but the shield that would disappear after a certain amount of time and then if ally uh touches it they get increased defense so really you just buff and debuff like all your enemies do by the way the attack buff works on your allies as well uh your defense buff you can put it up you just i used to put it up in front of a treasure that what sucks about it is you cannot see through it like you can arco shield but, and it's not as big as Arco Shield, so that's kind of the downside. But the plus side is you get defense buff, you defense buff allies, and you're still blocking stuff from the enemy. It is a lot thinner. So I kind of wish they made it as big as Arco Wall, but that's okay. It does do a lot more things than Arco Wall, too, is, so that's kind of like the trade-off for it. Your traits. When you're, you or an ally from your team KO an enemy, recover HP by 10%. So if you're killing the enemy, you're going to be keep healing. You will keep sustaining. It's really, really nice. When dealing damage three times in 10 seconds, the enemies are reduced speed by 10%. That's really, really nice. I love it. I When I get him level 100, I'm probably going to try him a lot of HP defense and then a little bit of attack. I think is where I'm going to go with that. But we'll see what happens. I can't really test out my traits yet because I don't have all the 18 percent yet. Uh, when area around the treasure, reduce damage speed by 30%. That's nice. You always need that. When your team has less treasure secured, increase treasure gauge recovery amount. So this is nice because it lets you charge them super fast and kind of will prevent you from getting 5 0 When attacking an enemy with skill 1, reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 30%. So basically, you're just, you, yeah, you want to skill 2 and then skill 1 after. And then, yes, it's fantastic. When your strength is more than 50%, reduce damage speed by 20%. You have 50% damage reduction. That is fat. And if you can go Zoan and Grand Line, that's going to be an extra 15%. So you will have 65% damage reduction towards greens and reds. And blues gives you a little damage reduction too as well because you are green. So that's kind of the route list you're going to want to go with that. And if you can get medals, that gives you extra damage reduction as well. You'll have even more. So you'll be around 70 to like 85 about damage reduction, which is fantastic. If you could get to the 100, you'd be insanely like tankier. That's kind of his one thing is he's not as tanky as Arco, but he can still go. He has like a little bit of survivability when you're like killing enemies. So as long as your team's kind of just killing, it works it really well, especially in this one shot meta. But let's take a look at some gameplay. All right, here we are, guys. We got ourselves the one, the only. We're against Tamastakun with the Robin. I go, I run out, I am running full defense, so I have 22 HP. It actually has a large amount of HP. I was actually impressed with this. Uh, we're charging up the flag. Remember, we have to be less flagged for it to charge up faster. 
Uh, I just, I, he's, he's just actually, it's insane, the games that I played. Watch this game, it's so spicy. Dude, we actually be whopping. I sit there, and usually Tomasta can bully me and stuff, but ooh, we be do, doing some bullying back. Now, your basic attacks are ranged, somewhat. This is how you kind of want to place your walls. You want to kind of block off your treasure. Look at that. I just protect myself and Blackbeard from Odin. I gave Blackbeard a defense buff as well. And look at that. Look, this is my very first game with him. My very, very first game with that. I smash him. He gets attack like, damage with debuff. I got my allies here with me. You just sit there. You want to play around your stuff. I'll be chucking spears at him. Homeboy's just getting whopped. Now your damage is obviously not crazy because they have zero like damage increase. So look at that. But th 1,300 damage is not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look, if you stand right next to it, I don't obviously here because I don't want to knock off the treasure and give him like a free pull on it. But you can. And your skill one does knock back Odin, so you can use it and slap in Odin with it as well. Look at how short the cooldowns are. That's actually insane. Yeah, I've thought about there is a broke work set now that you can run and you can potentially just keep like giga skill ability and just keep using your candy wall. Look at the wall. Oh my god, it's fantastic. Look at that. So somehow that still hit me, but that's oh, whatever. That's neither here nor there. I got my wall again. I try to put up this Barati stage is one of the best like maps for this for these wall users because it's just a flat runway. So people like Mihawk will destroy it. Now allies or enemies can walk through the wall. They can walk through it, but they can't like they, they, if they do that, then they'll just be like hitting it though. It's actually pretty insane. So here the master tries to bully me, thinking she's good, which I think not. Look at actually how much I tank though. So look at yeah, I'm on team boost, but like. Normally, like, normally Tomasa runs attack on this. I don't know if she actually is in this game, but sometimes Tomasa runs attack on the Robin. And, oh my god, look at... I just keep chucking, because I know I, I'm just going to keep chucking, just as for fun. But we, we're whopping her! Oh my god, look at that. And then we got a wall. Give myself defense buff, that's right. Look at, normally Tomasa sit there and bully me, but uh -uh, not today. Not today. Look at... She thinks she good. Bam! Mm. Get attack debuff, nerd. True! Look at me wailing. Look at, you would think... Eventually, the Robin abuses you. A Robin can sit there and abuse Rogers. That's how I'm saying. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. That ain't nothing. It is a defender, but like she's max boost too. Did you guys like notice how like Odin doesn't even do that much damage to me? I could go bother with the Odin, but I was like, eh, I ain't about that. Look at that. Oh my God, the damage reduction is too fat, people. Now I have played several games, and you will notice as we get to the future games that Zoro can be a problem. People like Zoro because he just keeps healing. So, if I, you have an enemy Zoro, you're going to want to try and avoid that and kind of just wall him off and attack you, go from the run. But we got, like, fat, like, fast stats! But I was actually insane. This kid actually kind of popped off like that Blackbeard. That's a little nursey. Like, look at this score. Look at this score. Look at this score. It's a little fat. Oh, my God. I was so excited here. I was like, what the fuck? And then, look at that. Oh, my God. 7K score. First game out the gates, baby. Holy quacker moly. Look at that. That's insane. Although, 9K score. I was like, what the freak? So you're not going to be getting kills, but you will be giga defending. And I love it. So once it gets 100, oh my god, I'm so excited. You guys aren't ready for that. But let's go next game. All right, here we go. We got a little bit of Dress to Rosa. This map is such a pain because it, it's just you get attacked from all directions. Now, Captain Kid normally kind of messes with a lot of defenders, which sucks because he can just shred them. But when you use your wall, look at Like, I can just sit here and be protected from his stuff. I don't have to sit here and tank anything. You just play around your walls, you'd be obnoxious, and you just keep chucking candle spears at them. Or swords, whatever they are. But oh my god, dude, look at how spicy he is! No, dude, 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 he just. Oh my god, so I got flung off. The issue, that is a kind of another potential issue, is your knockback. Your range is actually so much shorter than I thought it was. But that's okay. Either way, you just keep putting candle wall. Dude, enemies can't see beyond the candle wall, so if you have someone like Shanks, or if you have someone like Roger, you can hide behind the wall. And just keep commissuring. I don't know what that kid's doing. He's like running into my wall there. But you can use things that do that. So just like hide. Like people like Shanks will be perfect for it. Or Usopp. People that can snipe behind it that will just be able to whack people. Or Zoro. Oh my god, the wall's so nice for not being able to see beyond it. Honestly, I wish you could summon two walls. That would be insane. That would be insane. You now here's a strat that you can try is you can put the wall on one end and then you put the sword on the other side and you can kind of plant people together. You can potentially pinch yourself off from the enemy, so I like that as well. And it, you'll be like pretty much unattackable. Oh my god! So I would be able to stop them here, but they just got too much here. I just get whacked way too much. We'd be stalled. Look at how much I've stalled for. I've, it's been a minute thirty, a minute thirty, and we'd be stalled. Look, but all these readiness. That's two Usops and a Captain Kid, dude, bro. He's actually, it's actually insane. 
It's actually insane. Also, your basic attacks do go straight through people, so if you have two people lined up and you shoot a spear, you will hit both of them with one basic attack. Which is nice. Unlike Usopp, who can only hit like, one person, you can body block. And you can't actually body block with him. So, this game I do skip to Krako because I need the thing. We die instantly. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move on from Krako. Here we go. There we go. We come back out. We're down flags. Uh, yeah. I don't, this, this law. I, watch, I come over to defend the flag. Join. Boy! He's gone, so I come back over. Now, any ally can run through that. All they have to do is run into that buff and they get the buff. It's so nice. But everyone has, like, buffs nowadays, kind of. So, it's like, yes and no. Because someone like Captain Kid might be good, or someone maybe like Law. If you can buff Law. But the issue is, they take more damage from Roger. So that's going to be, like, your main concern when you're doing this. So watch out for that. Uh, sadly, we're kind of down in flags. But, like, look it. He's not weak. This is only level 85, people. I'm getting 5k scores with level 85. Like, bro, he's actually insane. He's actually doing the deeds. Like, look at this nastiness. It's actually disgusting. Look at, check me out. Oh my god, I'm topping the charts. Like, there's two Rogers down there. All right, here we go. We got some Barati again. I This map is just currently what it was on, so that's what we were stuck with, which is actually perfect, though, for him. So, maps like Saba Odi will be kind of annoying, obviously, because that's, that's just when is Saba Odi not annoying for any defender, no matter who you are. So, as you can see, they got Odin, Kinemon, Laffy, La. So, we're vibing. They got fat anti-heal. Anti-heal is super annoying for you because you do want to be able to heal and keep sustaining. That's kind of your goal. And I like to just sit back here and kind of shoot basic attacks. I wish the basic attack was, like, a little bit longer. Because then we could have, like, whacked people. But, yeah. It is what it is. Look at that. So, do you see how that protected? The sword actually blocked the Laffy. Your Lu only Lucy skin. It actually worked really well. And then, look, I got my wall back up again. So, I try to go up here. Try to wall this kid off. You can get knocked out, unfortunately, which sucks. So be careful of that when you are playing him. Uh, yeah, we, we be vibes and we be vibes and oh my god, dude, look, just look at how amazing he is with this candle wall. Holy shit! Now, only Luffy will be annoying as always because he can just shred you with his stuff and the skills. But if you just, oh my god, if I he can't do damage like to you otherwise other than his skill too. So if you just try and hide around like that, like I do, just hide behind your little walls. Like, the Uru is just trying to, like, walk through that stuff. Oh my god, you can just spear people down. It's fantastic. And they can't see what they're walking through, too. So they can walk through it, but they don't know what they're walking into. So hopefully you got a Roger on the other side. You're really going to need to play with your allies, which is the only unfortunate part about him. But it's not bad. He's actually just, for a step of unit, he's actually really good. Is he going to be top tier? I don't know, probably not as good as Arco, I'm going to be honest, but I think he's definitely better than some of the other step-ups that we have received lately. So, remember we do have a second step-up, I'm not sure, it's likely to be either Pell or a Vivi or a, a, I'm not sure what else, the other only option is like Golden Week, but I would assume she's going to be a 3 star, so, we will see when we get there. But, th this dude, he's playable, he's fantastic, I like him. You can decently hold a Roger, I ain't gonna lie. You can decently stall them. You can decently stall an Odin. Like, no cap. You're gonna just stay on your flag. Now, Law can be an issue. I was actually surprised that I died there. I was like, what? How did I actually die there? Uh, we got a little Croco. Croco Doodle. I zoom out and I pretty much insta die, I'm gonna be honest. Or I take some flags or something. I don't know. We help this kid. We zoom in. Uh, let me just skip past the Croco. And then, yeah, I guess we just. Yeah, we 4 0 by then. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We just 4 by then. Oh my god, dude. So that is our Mr. 3. That's our Mr. 3. Home Skillet Biscuit. Now, that is our Mr. 3 gameplay, you guys. I will work on getting some metal sets together on what I think will be best for him because he's got lots of potential. So we're going to figure out if you can just spam walls, it'll be nasty. I know there's that other... There's that warlord buggy crocodile and Mr. 2 set that's also kind of nasty. So we potentially could run that as well. I'm willing to try that out. We're going to see, I don't know, I will have to put together stuff. I want to see what kind of cooldowns you can get going with him. Or there's that new Burrow Works Agent stuff, which gives him fast cool skill 2 cooldown as well. But that is what all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe if you did. If you didn't, that's fine too. Also, catch me live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as YouTube on Saturday, Sunday, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But with that, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, and I'm a Burrow Post. I'm going to be taking off. Yeah. Holy peace, beautiful people.